In this video, I wanna break down something that Amazon has recently released, which is an absolute game changer. And this is the Amazon brand referral program. Now, before this kicked off, there was virtually no way that you could track important KPIs or metrics for offsite traffic that you sent to amazon.com without doing some finessing, right? Before, like experienced sellers like myself have utilized a few different strategies through Facebook ads as well as through implementing Amazon Associates program to actually track some conversions and some data. Now you can actually measure key important information like clicks, page views, add to carts, as well as conversions. This is huge. Now, Amazon is actually gonna give you up to a 10% bonus for off-site traffic that leads to a conversions. So for example, if you're running Facebook ads or Google ads, or you're running um, a blog site and you have a mention, or you're running influencer traffic and you send traffic directly to your listing and they convert, you can actually get paid up to 10% of the total cost of the product. So if the product is $10, you could actually get $1 on bonus on top of whatever it is that you're gonna make from the product. Now this is different from Amazon Seller Associates. Seller Associates is actually gonna be you actually promoting and affiliating the product. This is for you to promote your products and actually make money on top of it. So as someone who's trying to grow their Amazon business and trying to run off-site traffic, now you are incentivized to run off-site traffic and actually scale it because now you can measure what matters, like the metrics, and you can actually know 100%, is this traffic converting, is this traffic profitable, so on and so forth, which is gonna be priceless when it comes to running multiple campaigns. So in order to join this program, there's a few things that you have to do. Number one, you have to be brand registered and you have to be a part of the brand registry video. And you have to be a part of the brand registry program. To learn more about what brand registry is and how you can become brand registered, you can click the link somewhere on this video right here, which will share the other video that I've created talking about brand registry and what brand registry is. Next, what you have to do once you're brand registered or approved for brand registry is you have to go into Seller Central and you need to A, request to be approved for this program and you also need to log into the program that way you can actually create your tags. Now, it's important that you create these tags through the attributions tab inside of Amazon Seller Central underneath this program. That way you can get credited for the traffic that you send and you can also see the metrics and analytics tied to the traffic that you're sending. If you do not create tags and associate them with the link underneath the attribution section, you will not get credit for the traffic that you're sending and you will not see the analytics, which could be detrimental to this entire campaign. Now, the reason why this is so smart and this is amazing is because a lot of sellers are actually trying to look into other e-commerce ventures like possibly Shopify and other e-commerce platforms because of the fees associated with Amazon. Now, in the AMZ formula and for our clients and our members, we actually talk about pricing structure and strategies to the point where the fees doesn't matter because we're gonna make that much more exponentially on the platform. But for those of you that are not yet a part of the AMZ formula, the reason why being brand registered and tapping into this actual platform and utilizing this incentive is amazing is because typically Amazon charges around 15% of the sale. So if the product is $10, they're gonna charge $1.50 for the actual referral fee for selling this product on Amazon. Well, if you're getting 10% incentive or a 10% bonus on this product because it's offsite traffic, now you're only paying 5%. Now on Shopify or other e-commerce platforms, you're paying what the processor charges plus typically around 30% per transaction. So that can be 3.9 all the way up to 5% plus the 30%. So basically there's only a 1.1 to 1% difference in between what Shopify and these other platforms are charging plus Amazon. And you have to think about it like this. Amazon is handling all of the fulfillment. Shopify, this is just a processor payment, right? These other platforms, these other e-commerce platforms, they're charging you 3.9% up to 5% just to process the credit card payment. You still are taking care of the shipping, the logistics, the handling, um, the, the packaging supplies, the materials, so on and so forth. So now utilizing the strategy, you can scale your business and you can grow your business outside of Amazon, 
get incentivized for it, actually be able to track the metrics so you can grow and scale your brand or your business. And on top of that, it basically is cheaper than what Shopify and the other platforms are utilizing because they're gonna go ahead and include that FBA fee. So this is a game changer. Hopefully you're excited about this as I am. Let me know down below if your brand registered and you're applying for this, that way you can utilize it because it is a game changer. Thanks for watching the video. If you haven't yet, smash that subscription button and next to that, hit that notification bell. That way you're notified every single week when we drop new videos. And by the way, if you're interested in working personally with me and my team or making an investment in an Amazon business built, ran, and managed by our team, head over to AMZ Together right now and I'll see you guys on the other side.